So this is Stratoshark. It should look familiar. Uh, at the top, you know, we have a list of uh, files that I have captured uh, previously. At the bottom, you know, there's this thing that looks like an interface, but it's not quite an interface. It's actually a capture source for cloud trail logs. If I open up a capture file, again, this should look familiar. We have a list of things at the top, which, well, wait a minute, they're not packets. They're actually system calls. Uh, if you, you know, look at the different columns, you know, we have a process name, we have a system call name, we have a username. Um, sorry, this is kind of a boring capture because all I did was capture, you know, a curl process downloading something off the Wireshark website because I'm, I'm not clever that way. But, um, you know, if we go through and look at this, you know, we have coloring rules applied to the, the system calls. You know, the, this, this, like I said, should look very familiar if you're a Wireshark user. Uh, down below in the detail area, I can look at information on that, this particular process, and there's a lot of information that's there, and that's because, you know, LibScap gives you that, that and LibSims give you that information. Um, I can go and look at the process ancestors, and, and again, this is part of the enriched data that LibSims provides. Um, since we're using the same UI code and the same dissection engine, I can apply a display filter for example, if I want to see all the activity in the Etsy directory on my system that, you know, that this process did, uh, I can do that. And if I scroll down and look, you know, I see that you know, since I ran curl it, you know, and it connected over SSL, it needed to read the CA cert file on the system. And if I right click, I can follow. In this case, it's not a TCP stream, it's a file descriptor stream, but I can see the contents of the file that I read. If we go back and look for activity in the lib directory, and scroll back to the top, you know, I click down here. If we look down at the detail view again, you know, we see all the process information, but at the very bottom, it says executable and linkable format. Does anybody know what that is? Elf? Uh, tell us, Peter. It's, uh, binary format, uh, binary yep, it's the, it's the executable format that Linux uses for, 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 for bi you know, binary executables. And in this case, we're combining the power of, of you know, LibSimps and Wireshark because LibSimps doesn't know about Elf, but Wireshark has an Elf dissector. How many people here knew that if you're on Linux, Wireshark can open Wireshark? <laughs> well, the core developers did, but um, yeah, if you're on a Linux box, try that. But uh, you know, we can go down here and see that we opened an executable file, and I can go look in that, that ELF header and, and examine that. Um, we're kind of limited on time. So I think that's probably all the time we have for a demo.